Unity Mall in their state capital or most prominent tourism center or the financial capital for promotion and sale of their one district, one product and GI products and other handicraft products and for providing space for such products of all other states as well. Sir, priority number seven, financial sector. Our reforms in the financial sector and innovative use of technology have led to financial inclusion at scale, better and faster service delivery, ease of access to credit and participation in financial markets. This budget proposes to further these measures. Credit guarantee for MSMEs. Last year, I proposed revamping of the credit guarantee scheme for the MSMEs. I am happy to announce that the revamped scheme will take effect from 1st April 2023 through infusion of 9,000 crores in the corpus. This will enable additional collateral free guaranteed credit of 2 lakh crores of rupees. Further, the cost of credit will be reduced by about 1%. A national financial information registry will be set up to serve as the central repository of financial and ancillary information. This will facilitate efficient flow of credit, promote financial inclusion and foster financial stability. A new legislative framework will govern this credit public infrastructure and will be designed in consultation with the RBI. To meet the needs of Amritkal, and to facilitate optimum regulation in the financial sector, public consultation as necessary and feasible will be brought to the process of regulation making and issuing subsidiary directions. To simplify, to ease and to reduce cost of compliance, financial sector regulators will be requested to carry out a comprehensive review of existing regulations. For this, they will consider suggestions from public and regulated entities. Time limits to decide the application under various regulations will also be laid down. Honorable Speaker, sir, to enhance business activities in gift IFSC, the following measures will be taken. Delegating powers under the SCZ Act to the IFSCA to avoid dual regulation. Setting up a single window IT system for registration and approval of IFSCA, SCZ authorities, GSTN, RBI, SEBI and IRDAI. Permitting acquisition, permitting acquisition financing by IFSC banking units of foreign banks, establishing a subsidiary of Exim Bank for trade refinancing, amending IFSCA Act for statutory provisions for arbitration, ancillary services, and avoiding dual regulation under the SCZ Act, and recognizing offshore derivative instruments as valid contracts. Honorable Speaker, sir. Data Embassy, for countries looking for digital continuity solutions, we will faci facilitate setting up of their data embassies in GIFT IFSC. <laughs> Improving governance and investor protection in banking sector. To improve bank governance, and enhance investors' protection, certain amendments to the Banking Regulation Act, the Bank Banking Companies Act, and the Reserve Bank of India Act are being proposed. <laughs> capacity building in securities market. Honorable Sp Speaker, sir, to build capacity